Hello and welcome to Security. Today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be doing a cloud lab. And I got this from Josh McAdoo's Josh McAdoo's um, channel. I think you should follow his channel. He has a very um he has very interesting and um insightful videos for anyone looking to break into the cyber security industry. And even if you're already there but you need to you want to learn basically, he has very good videos. I'll be linking his channel in the description. And so what we're going to be doing is setting up a virtual machine and exposing it to the internet. And we're going to be watching out for improper login attempts um, using Microsoft Sentinel and also mapping this improper login attempt by their location. And um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting, be an interesting project and let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is log on to my uh, Microsoft Azure account and go to the portal and um, yeah I'm going to be creating a virtual machine first of all this is a virtual machine I'm going to be exposing to the internet if you don't know how if you don't have an Azure account I'm going to link a video um, showing you how to create one in the description so first thing we're going to do is create a resource group and a resource group helps us properly manage um, our cloud resources so we can um, manage them as a group rather than individually. So they are like kind of so kind of like um, placement groups on AWS. So yeah, I'm just gonna give the, the virtual machine the name Honeypot VM because it's going to be it's a Honeypot basically. It's gonna help us up observe um, attackers, and um, I have to create the administrator account as well. I give it the username security and and I put in a password. And confirm the password. Yeah, just accept this licensing agreement. Go next to disk. I'm gonna leave this as it is. Go next to networking. Um, yeah, for the security groups, I'm gonna click on advanced and create new. So. I'm going to edit this because I'm exposing to the internet. I'm going to remove the rule that's there and put in a rule that allows it, um, makes it accept traffic from any port in any range from any IP address. So I just renamed the rule as well. I give it the name any in because basically I'm allowing any traffic from any port in and I click on add. So with that our security group is created. I click on OK. And I'll go to next management. Um, leave that as default. I'll click on advanced. Um, also leave this as default. Click on next tags, leave that as default, review and create. And um, we should be ready to create our virtual machine now. So I click on create. So while we wait for the virtual machine to be created, we're going to create a log analytical space. And the log analytical space is basically um, going to collect the logs from our virtual machine. And um, afterwards, we'll, we'll channel the logs into Sentinel for the um, analytics. So now I'll put the log analytical workspace in the same resource group as my virtual machine. Just click on next tags, click on review and create. And once it, it passes the validation, I click on create. So the next step is to activate Microsoft Defender for Cloud so you can push logs from the virtual machine to the log analytics workspace. So now I'm opened up Microsoft Defender for Cloud. I go to Environment Settings. Um, my log analytics workspace hasn't shown up yet, so I'll wait a bit and refresh the page. OK, so now on the Azure, Azure subscription, I can see my log analytics workspace. So I click on it. And I enable uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Plans. Um, I'm going to turn off SQL servers because I don't need SQL servers. And after that, I click on save. And I'm going to 
click on data collection and activate it for all events and click on save. So now I have activated Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So logs from my virtual machines are pushed to my log analytics workspace. So now my log analytics workspace is done deploying. The next step is to connect my VM, my virtual machine to the log analytics workspace. So I go to the log analytics workspaces, click on virtual machines, select my machine and just click on connect. So I'll wait for you to connect. So the next step is to go to Microsoft Sentinel and create a workspace where we are going to perform analytics and display, um, map out the, the log events basically for the um, improper login attempts. Click on Create Microsoft Sentinel, select my log analytics workspace and click on Add. Then I'll just give it some time to be added while my VM is still being added to the log analytics workspace as well. What I'm going to do now is connect to the virtual machine. So I could, once you click on virtual machines, you can get the public IP address and um, pull up remote desktop connection on your PC, paste in the public IP address there, and you can connect with the same user account that you created during creation. So the username I used was um, security, and uh, I'll type, in, type it in the username type in the username and the uh, um, password that I created as well. So what I'm going to do first of all is put in the wrong password so I can um, show you how how that shows up in, um, in the log log events on the on the on the VM. So I first of all put in the wrong um, password. But now I've put in the right password and I'm, I'm into, I've logged into the machine. So now I'm in the virtual machine. I'm just going to complete the initial setup. Um, so I'm going to be using the browser on the virtual machine, the Microsoft Edge browser. So I'm going to open up, open that up, and also com complete the initial setup there as well. Just give it a minute to open up. Okay. So now we have Microsoft Edge opened up. It's still loading up. Okay, so I'll just click on complete setup. Just click through um, all these pop-ups and continue without signing up. So with a Windows machine, you can view the logs with the event viewer. So I'll pull up the event viewer now. Okay, so I have event viewer opened up. I'll click on Windows logs, expand the drop-down menu and click on security logs. I'm gonna show you first of all the log event for the wrong login I did. So once all the logs are pulled up, this might take some time. I'll just arrange them by the date and time and look for the most recent um, or the most recent log with the keyword audit failure. So you can see these security logs are termed either audit success or audit failure. Audit success is for a um, there was no issue basically, and audit failure means this is a a security log, an event that didn't that didn't um, work work out properly basically. So uh, a, a, an improper an improper login attempt would be categorized under an audit failure. So when I click on the audit failure, okay. So along with the log, we can see some other information such as the um, account name. The, that's the username that was attempt that the user tried to use to log in. And okay, I just expanded now. You can see the account name says security. That was the username I tried to use to um, log in. You could also see the IP address, the device the login was from, and some other information as well. So basically, this is what this information is what we're going to be using to um, map out the source of our, of login attacks basically on our system. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do is just confirm that the log, the, we're getting the correct logs. I'm going to use a different username from Sesquery. So I'll click on use a different user account, put in the username as Fred. And I'll just put in any random password and try to log in 
to the virtual machine. So it says the attempt failed. Then I'll go to the logs on the virtual machine and look for the specific log for that event. So I'm just continuing to scroll through the logs and what I can do is sort them by event ID. You can notice the for log on um, audit failures, the event ID is 4625. That's a piece of information we'll also need later on. So yeah, now I found the log, you can see the account name of Fred and um, the IP address where the where I performed the login attempt from. So now we can at least co confirm that uh, the of VM is collecting logs locally um, properly. And that's where I'll be stopping for now. And um, we'll be continuing in the next video. So in this video, we have successfully created a virtual machine on Microsoft Azure and expo uh, put it in, in a research group as well and exposed it um, to the internet. We've created a log analytics workspace and connected the VM to it. We also use Microsoft Defender for Cloud to um, collect all events and channel them into the log analytics workspace. And finally, we've connected to the virtual machine and observed the security logs using Windows Event Viewer. In the next video, we're going to be running a PowerShell script that's going to take the IP address information from each of these log events and, and um, run them through an API that will return um, information such as the longitude, latitude, the country, and um, some other information that's going to be helpful towards our mapping of the events in Sentinel. So thanks for watching. As usual, if you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.